Hey there, this is episode four of Dye's Log, and this week we worked on the paper cutter choke variation from a Kimura setup. And <clears throat> we started it from a hip bump sweep or a sit up sweep, which um, you see right there. And both me and my partner have um, a knee injury, or I'd rather call it a knee sensitivity because it's. Um, it's healing and and we both kind of low-key hate being choked so doing this paper cutter choke where right now she's you know she's going into um you know she's got this little monkey grip this well this pistol grip and then she feeds my gi into it um and then she's gonna slide her forearm you know in the front of my throat and she's gonna sprawl drop her elbows down into her rib cage, applying this kind of pressure um, from this Kimura setup here. And yeah, you know, all sorts of suckage, but also really awesome, right? Because we're really well paced for each other. We take care of each other really, really well. And we make sure we're both feeling safe um, and we're not becoming dysregulated. Um, we might be getting activated, but we're really, um, you know, we're, we're always trying to stay regulated and um, resist that neurodivergent where we can disassociate and just kind of uh, be overwhelmed by the somatic feelings that come up from the body from, from trapped trauma, right? Because trauma always shows up as a reaction, not necessarily a memory. And please feel free to ever comment um, and if you want to talk more about trauma, I'm really, really open about what my journey is. That's why I'm making this vlog and I want to make it an open dialogue for us. So here, this is this fun little part where <laughs> I was like, oh God, like I was, I was receiving a little bit more pressure from my partner in this class because of her knee sensitivity. Um, so she couldn't kind of displace her weight um, with as much control as she usually does. And so I'm just like, hey, do you ever feel like your, like your chest is about to explode? Like, like you totally can't breathe and... And she just intuitively, she's like, oh yeah, totally. With you, I feel like it's like your heart chakra and it's like blocked and it's on your backside. You know, most people think of their chakras from on the front side of the body, but it has a back and a front. And it's like a, this ancestral thing that I'm picking up. <laughs> so, and she owns this beautiful crystal gallery in Vancouver. And so she's like, you got to get some water, watermelon tourmaline and put it under your bed and be able to sleep with it. And I just love that. I love that that's our little um, on the mat conversation. And it just, again, goes to show how much we work at taking care of each other. And I'm never afraid to go into the woo and talk about energy. Um, in my Kokodo Jiu Jitsu, I do pretty high level training. Um, and it's, it's all about moving key and like energizing your body to manipulate somebody else. Um, and it, it applies just as much in Brazilian jiu-jitsu, you know, like, do you have good energy when you show up on the mat? Do you know how to modulate your emotions so that you don't take it out on your partner? Do you know how to have empathy and take care of your partner? Um, that's why, you know, I'm, I'm doing this journey to talk about my trauma, um, to hopefully encourage other people to talk about it and recognize that this isn't just a physical ground game like this is a mental emotional psycho spiritual physical ground game so much is coming up for us and it's a really important part of the conversation you know that we're learning how to transmute the feelings that come up because again trauma shows up as a reaction not necessarily a memory and if you're getting activated or dysregulated without being cognitively consciously aware what is that going to do to the rest of your day, the rest of your night, to the people around you? If you don't have this kind of emotional intelligence to be able to understand how you self-regulate, what does that look like, again, in your life, or with, with the people in your life, you know? Do you just shut down? Do you get angry? Do you become unresponsive? Do you become overbearing? These are all really important self-perspective um, reflective questions. <laughs> working on our trauma. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that, 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 that's it for me this week. Um, comment below if you have any questions. Thanks.